part four of our series, The Real Gospel in Ten. Now remember, this is a brief overview of the promises of the gospel from inspiration. And our subject for this time is, what is possible for us? Our first text is Jude verse 24. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. Now that is the first of a series of promises in the Bible about what God can do for us as lost sinners, what his power can do in our lives. We're going to briefly read some of those promises. Second Peter chapter 2, verse 9. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations. If we've been delivered from a temptation, we haven't yielded to the temptation. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. There has no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. That's a powerful promise, isn't it? It says that when a temptation comes, and we're all tempted, that there is a way of escape. We do not have to be taken under by that temptation, but we have a way of escape provided for us. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 15. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Really? Every thought? That's what the Bible says. That every thought, the tempting thoughts, all of the thoughts that, that come to us, can be in captivity to Jesus Christ. Can we ask for any more powerful promise than that? Galatians chapter 5, verse 16. Walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Now, it doesn't say you should not, you must not. It says you shall not. If you're walking in the Spirit, you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh, the pulls of our fallen nature. We won't carry them out because the Spirit is stronger than our fallen nature. 1 John chapter 3, verse 9. Whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin, for his seed, that's God's seed, remaineth in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. That is one of the most incredible promises in all the Bible. It says that while God's Holy Spirit remains in us, it is impossible to sin. The only way we can sin is to excuse the Holy Spirit from control of our life. And then, of course, we can sin. But when the Holy Spirit is in control, sin is impossible. Revelation chapter 7, verses 3 and 4. A prophecy of our near future. Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed an hundred and forty and four thousand. That's the destiny to which God is calling the final generation. He is calling us to be one of that group that Revelation calls the 144,000. And the distinguishing mark of that group is that they are sealed by God's special seal, that we have been set apart in this unique way. What does that mean? In verse 5 of Revelation 14, and in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of God. Guile means deception or hypocrisy. No more of that. And they are without fault. They live in the sight of a holy God without sinning. An incredible promise that God has made, almost beyond belief. Testimonies, volume 5, page 216. All who receive the seal must be without spot before God. What we're reading are higher than our highest human thoughts can even imagine, but we're reading from inspiration. We are reading God's counsel to us, and that says very clearly, without spot before God. From Testimonies, Volume 1, page 144, we can overcome. Yes, fully, entirely. Jesus died to make a way of escape for us that we might overcome every evil temper, every sin, every temptation, and sit down at last with him. 
All I can say is I am just amazed at the promises that God has made that we can access by faith. Do we believe God's word? In Heavenly Places, page 146, everyone who by faith obeys God's commandments will, not may, not must, not should, will reach the condition of sinlessness in which Adam lived before his transgression. Sometimes we're afraid of that word sinless, but God apparently isn't. And he has promised us something beyond our wildest dreams that we can live that kind of life. Review and Herald, April 1, 1902. He, Christ, came to this world and lived a sinless life that in his power, his people might also live lives of sinlessness. Sometimes we say that Jesus Christ came to die for our sins. Yes, he did. But he also came to show us that in God's power, we can live without rebelling. We can live without sinning. God's Amazing Grace, page 230. He would not call upon them to be perfect if he had not at his command every perfection of grace to bestow on the ones upon whom he would confer so high and holy a privilege. Did you notice that it's a gift of God? He's bestowing his gift upon us. It is a privilege that he is conferring upon us that we do not have to be a slave to our fallen nature. We do not have to commit sin over and over and over again, but we can have victory over it. Review and Herald, March 10, 1904. He who has not sufficient faith in Christ to believe that he can keep him from sinning has not the faith that will give him an entrance into the kingdom of God. You see, it's all about faith. Do we have faith that God can do the impossible? Do we have faith that God can produce lives in us that we can hardly even imagine? Do we have faith in Christ? That's the question. So that's our little overview of um, what is possible for us. We have just looked quickly at some of the amazing promises in the Bible. And again, if you want to study this a lot more in detail with a lot more evidence, then again, go to, on this channel, this YouTube channel, Face to Face with the Real Gospel, Part 4, What is Possible for Us. And that's our little overview of the Gospel in 10, God's way of saving us from sin to salvation for all eternity. If you have found this study helpful, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel where you will find more studies on various subjects.